Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And just to remind the Muslims, they are welcome to call me anytime, any second, immediately. Our topic is about the mental health of Muhammad. You know, the Muslims, they have tons of videos, articles, movies, you know, English, millions. Uh, and in every single video, they present to you someone he is amazing, smart, intelligent, merciful, uh, ethical, wonderful. I mean, whatever else you want to add at the end of the world. But how much that is realistic? Uh, you know, YouTube show me a video like this. You know, a Muslim asking a person about Muhammad. I don't know what he told him in the video. And the guy, he said to him, he feel like he want to cry. So who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us something emotional about your prophet? Because I want to cry too. Any Muslim? Israfil, he is saying to me, you pagan. You pagan? Do you mean I'm a, yeah, you are saying I'm a pagan? Well, I don't know, my friend. As long as you are talking about mental illness, well, why your prophet, he kissed the black stone? I remember once I, I went to the, I had a chat, and I think I posted on YouTube, if you remember, with the Muslim website, and I asked them a question, why the prophet, he kissed the black stone? Took them five minutes to answer and they said to him to me because it's holy i said why it's holy took them another five minutes and answer saying because he kissed it so who is the mental and who is the pagan so i can give you the question right now as long as you are talking about paganism who is the pagan why muhammad he kissed the black stone because it's holy why it's holy because he kissed it so obviously Islam is a stupid cult and Muslims, uh, you know, if, if we can say there is a Muslims, I mean, even like even those who go on YouTube in the street, none of them is a Muslim. None of them practice Islam. Not a single one of them. Actually, if there are people who practice Islam, they will not be even there. <laughs> uh, your sin of idol worship will not be forgiven. You associate partner with Allah. Well, that's wonderful. Why you don't call me? Let us see who associate partner with Allah. First of all, I don't believe in Allah. To partner with him, you idiot. You are very silly, like all the Muhammadan. When you say to somebody, you partner somebody with Allah, that means he believe in Allah. Your God is not exist. He's an ancient moon God, false God. Satan is exist, yes. So he can be the one using the name behind the name, behind the scene, but Allah himself is not exist. If you don't believe me, call me so we can love together. But as long as they are talking about idol worshipping and associating someone with their God, isn't your Muslim associate the knowledge of Muhammad with the knowledge of Allah? Isn't your Muslim associate the name of Muhammad with the name of, uh, of, of Allah? How you say Shahada? Can you say Shahada, which is supposedly witnessing, which is very funny, Muslims are witnessing to, to, to both people who they never, they never saw. Neither Allah, neither Muhammad. So you witness to Allah by doing what? You witness to Muhammad or to Allah? You witness for both. Why? Because you associate the name of Muhammad, with, which, which is a man, with the name of your God. You are a pagan. Now, if there is any Muhammadan there to call me, please feel free. But we know that Muhammadan, they are suffering from mental illness like their prophet. Because you cannot be a person who is not suffering from mental illness and you believe in what Muhammad said. Prove me wrong. Like when Muhammad he says you will have an endless penis, is that a statement of somebody he have a mental illness or mental uh, stability? Hmm? When your prophet he says there's 99 dragons will come inside the grave and they will go inside your anus. 
Is that a statement of somebody is healthy or somebody is mentally ill? Who of you believe really there is 99 drugs that will go inside your anus when you die? If you do, call me. None of you. Hypocrite. You claim to be believers, but in reality, the second we ask you a question, you escape it. If we do a little search on YouTube, we will find tons of I mean, the Muslims. They they have answer for everything. <laughs> Enter to talk to me. We came from monkey, moved to mink. Moved to mink is uh, refuting that. But the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says that a certain group of people, Allah made them monkeys. So how you refute it, but you are supporting it. Not only that, actually, the Muslim believe, because Muhammad told them, that animals are nations like us and they are Muslims. And this is why, if we go right now, and we search in... Uh, YouTube, you will find things which is hilarious. Those are cows saying Shahada. Cow's reaction when they hear Surat Al-Baqarah. Look, they are reciting for them the chapter of the cow, and the cows, they have a reaction. <laughs> so who is more mental, Muhammad or his followers? You tell me. And you know they do editing. Like, you remember the story, the cat, she don't walk over the Quran? Do you remember? And millions of people, they were like, wow. The cat is not moving over the Quran. <laughs> Obviously, she is a Muslim cat. Brother. The cat doesn't stop, step on the Quran, but the cat, she step on the Bible. Bird will not walk on the Quran. <laughs> and those are the scammers, you know, they make a reaction videos just to make money. You know. <laughs> and then there's a guy, I like his short videos. His name is David Wood. You know? He brought you all the Quran you want. Uh, too bad, if I have a cat, I will do it. You know, I don't have cats. I grow lions. And any one of you can do it, you know. I mean, they do video editing. They are just a stupid. I mean, people, they step on the Quran. We can find even the Quran in the sewage. Throwing by Muslims. Millions of Qurans thrown in the sewage every year. Actually, they are causing big problems in Islamic countries. They block the sewage. But remember, the cat don't want to walk on the Quran. Hmm. Sewage. Anyway, I would like to see a Muhammadan who believe that Muhammad was a smart, not a stupid, and mentally ill to call me and to discuss the topic together in a nice way, if it's possible. Muhammad was a genius. 
and we can see some examples. Let us see. Brother Omar has a question that he had underwent uh, or undergone a number of surgeries in his kidneys and appendix and, and etc. And he suffers from passing wind. So he's asking what to do when this is happening and what to do with the prayer. Akhil Kareem, Omar, I pray to Allah that he cures your illnesses and restores your health back again to be stronger and better than before. Regarding passing wind and breaking your wudu, you are either one of two. Either this happens on intervals or it is continuous. Mm -hmm. Intervals mean that it happens for five, ten minutes and then it stops for half an hour or an hour. And then it happens for five, ten minutes and stops for half an hour. So you can estimate that this is a half an hour or an hour where I can perform uh, wudu and pray. In this case, you have to pray in the interval or in the period that you... There we go. We find a solution. Pray when you are not farted. As if the guy have a control. <laughs> Same time, I mean, what, what kind of God? I mean, what's the problem? The guy is sick. This God will not receive your prayer if you are farting. Looks like this God, he did not know how and what he created. I mean, if a, a human being, he fought, isn't it? This is part of Allah design, supposedly, and Allah is the creator. Or I forgot the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators, which means there's a lot of creators. This is what Muslims and Islam is busy with. Fart in hadith. You call TV station, nobody talk about something serious. Farting, non-stop. More serious questions. What's the ruling on suppressing the urge to pass wind during Salah? Is my salah valid if I succeed in suppressing it, or do I have to make a new wudu and By the way, and... stop. This is a farting TV station. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, there's a thousands and millions of programs made by the Muslims about farting. It's a big, big problem in Islam. We have to, you know, we have to, we have to put that into consideration, you know. And that is telling you that Muhammad is not mentally ill. He is a serious man. He have knowledge of God. Okay, now, uh, uh, not only human beings fart, uh, shaitan fart too. When you uh, call for the adhan, Shaitan, he start farting. Mosques, when you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, lahu durat. You know what durat is? What? Durat is... You're a professional man. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu durat. I'm not making this the hadith. So See, you... he did not make it out. This is the hadith. That is mean Muhammad said. I mean, if you ask yourself a, a very simple question, if Muhammad is not mentally ill and he have a low IQ, he will say it's such a thing. Remember, you know, we are coming from like Jesus came uh, 600 years before Muhammad. Musa came long, long before. Abraham way before. We never heard so, and none of, none of them saying such a stupid, stupid stuff like this. But where Muhammad he got those stories from? Shaitan he fought when you hear the Adhan. Why? 
And this shaitan is a creature like us. He have, you know, is eating beans. He must be an American shaitan. Those Americans, they keep eating beans. So shaitan thought, because you are praying to Allah, and this is explained the global warming, and those are stupid atheists, they keep talking about the global warming. The problem is Islam. Stop Islam. Ban Islam and ban the Salah of the Muslims. Global warming will be, that's it, demolished. Because as you see, number one producer for, you know, carbon, is shaitan farting at Muslim prayer. I mean, and look at their respect. I mean, Allah is, uh, they are praying to Allah, shaitan fart. Muhammad, he is a person who speaks the truth, and he is an expert in farting. You, that shaitan made me do sin. Ah, oh, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan, right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Wow, we are making him leak now. So we Muslims, when we talked for the adhan, we are making the shaitan leak, serious leak. May Allah leak you. Serious gas. So you know you go into the toilet. You know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabaith. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. You have to enter with the left foot. Muhammad told them you have to enter with the left foot, because if you don't, there's a consequences. I'm, I'm warning you. Never enter with the right foot. Dangerous. The smart Muhammad, he's not mental, you can tell. He told them when you enter the bathroom, you have to enter with the left foot. Brother, why? The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. Reward right away. See the reward he came like, you are entering the bathroom to do shit, excuse me. You get reward for that because you just use the left foot, not the right foot. If you use the right foot, Allah will give you a finger. Hmm. Continue. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're Ah, you became invisible. I went to the bank last time. I mean, I was talking to them. They said, who's talking? We hear the voice. Are you there, sir? I said, yeah, I'm here. They said, are you talking? Where are you? You know, they could not see me because I said the dua. Why? Because the one who worked in the bank, he was a shaitan, obviously. So he cannot see me. Like, what the heck? And then I, I put my ATM card in the front of him. He said, but I don't see you. How come? I see the card now. Because I enter, you know, the bathroom of the bank first with my left foot and I say the dua, which the prayer to Allah. And then I became invisible. You're in the toilet. Shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith. Hadith, right? uh -huh. yeah. If you don't say the dua. Now is the consequences. See what Muhammad, Muhammad, you don't make things out of nowhere. There is a serious problem here. He's, he's helping you. If you don't say the prayer, the dua, which is like supplication, what will happen? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmidh says he plays with your bowels. Shaitan, he go inside your anus. Not only he come inside your anus, may Allah protect your anus, Muslims. He is playing with your anus now. Like a diggy, diggy, diggy. Take 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 a tone, look, look, look. Okay, and what happened? That explained why every Muslim anus came to, to, to call me is, is, is a swollen. I mean, I don't, now I understand. Okay, what else? This is the smart Muhammad, not the mental illness Muhammad. The smart Muhammad. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. See? You think it's going to be taken two minutes, five minutes? Ten minutes is not even you're not starting because he blocked it. That's it. He's there. And I mean, do you even hear the music behind it? The holy music. Muslim, they add holy music. Support this is holy music. I mean, what the heck? This sounds sound like a graveyard. And the holy music now is about what? About a, a shit and bathroom and somebody playing with your anus. And we are playing the background music. Listen to the background music. You know why? Because I'm really, I'm, I'm not going to say you Muslim, you must be touched because as you see, you're not being touched. <laughs> you are played. You know, shaitan is inside your anus playing with you. And the funny, this is happening only to Muslims. 
Who is a Muslim when I take a camera and record a slow motion? All right, like don't enter the bathroom with your left foot. Prove to us, we can ask Lily Dawa, I'm sure she she like it. Prove to us that Shaitan, you see, you can, you can say Shaitan is invisible, no problem. But we will see what's happening to your anus. We will see your anus is moving, especially if it's hairy, hairy putter. This is Muhammad, the smart Muhammad. Who is a Muhammad that would like to join us? Until now, zero. But you know, all of this can be nothing. But we have proofs that Muhammad, he was mentally ill from their books. How we can prove it? The Muhammadan they line up to debate people like uh, the ex-Muslim uh, with his name uh, Ahmad. Somebody I saw in the text they are saying, "How come those people they don't call me? They don't dare to call me." Uh, they knew. Let us read what happened to Muhammad and how we can prove that Muhammad was suffering from mental illness from their books. Uh. This is Al-Bukhari. This is Al-Bukhari. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God needed a surgery to install a dish of wisdom in his chest? and in his nerves and his vein read carefully so jibril cut open this is a real plastic surgery in real time 1400 years ago before muhammad been taken to heaven jibril opened the part of his body from here to here the fact this is a lie it says to uh, uh to the uh, you know to his chest, no. Uh, I can show you even more stories, says all the way to his testicles. But we will go there. We will show more hadith. And then he took all the material out. I like the material, by the way. I mean, look, this is scientific study. The material. He took it where? He took it out. So when Muhammad now is a chest and his stomach is open, Jibreel, he cut open the chest of Muhammad and his abdomen and he washed it with Zamzam. With Zamzam, you cannot wash it anywhere. Anyway. With Zamzam, it have to be in that water, which is full of arsenic. Then he washed it with Zamzam water, with his own hands, looks... Um, Jibreel is doing laundry in the old style, like you know, the way your grandmother and my grandmother used to do it, with his hands. Yeah, he's an angel, not with his wings. I thought Muhammad, he said, that Jibreel have 600 wings. Yeah, now he is washing it with his hands. Maybe the hands wings. We oui, we oui, we. Oui. Till he cleansed the inside of his body. Oof. Man, full of. Excuse my language. And then golden tray contained a golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call me and say to me, my prophet was not mentally ill and stupid? Otherwise, I never heard that somebody is a prophet of God, his God need to do some fixing and repair and install wisdom. Who is a Muhammadan? Would like to tell me why Muhammad need a plastic surgery because this is really a plastic surgery. The purpose of it is a purification 
correction, body modification, as you see. The Quran speak about multiple words. Yeah, I can show you about the multiple words. Why you don't talk me, Israfil? By the way, your name is Israfil. Do you want to show you what your Prophet Muhammad he said about Israfil? You would die laughing. Allah, he put his book, his tablet, between the eyes of Israfil. And the distance between his eyebrows is 500 years. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, why Allah he put the book, the tablet of Allah between the eyebrows of Israfil? So he cannot look at it. <laughs> hey Israfil, what about you call me so we can talk about the topic you've chosen? I challenge you. Multiple words. Your stupid Muhammad, he says, the, the earth have seven liars and every liar there is a creature living it. This is the multiple words. Hello. Oh. This is why the Quran it says Rabbul Alameen. What Alameen mean? Call me, call me so we can laugh. We have all the laundry of Muhammad. Anyway, we go back to our topic. If Muhammad is not a stupid, what was the purpose and the reason to install a dish of wisdom in Muhammad's chest? And not only that. Muhammad needed a lot of wisdom to the point it says here and then the wisdom was brought and then Gabriel stuffed his chest and his throat blood vessels with it do you see it do you see it what this story here prove that Muhammad is really stupid and material why because this is a story mentioned by Muhammad after the plastic surgery to make him smart. Are you with me, guys? This is the story of the smart guy after the surgery, the wise man now. See, Muhammad was so dumb before the surgery. Now he have a whole golden dish, a huge one, sent from Allah, from the refrigerator of Allah. And they stuff it in his throne and his blood vessels and his throat and his chest. And yet Muhammad, he mentioned this story. Do you see how wise he is? That means he is so wise now. And because he is wise, he is telling us a story. This story is not a stupid story. It's not even good for kids. No, this is after the surgery. This is when Muhammad becomes smarter. He come with this story. Who is a Mohammedan can call us and say to us that Muhammad was smart and he is not mentally ill? If you say he was not mentally ill, so why Allah doing a plastic surgery to install? Believe and, and believe? Guys, have you ever heard of faith and wisdom? They are coming in dishes. Dishes. This is literally a golden dish. Full. You see, this is not my words. This is not my translation. This is not my website. This is not my Arabic book. This is their words. And the Muslim, they keep saying, everything about Prophet Muhammad is documented. I'm so happy to hear that. As you see, it's documented. And we are laughing. Nobody need to post my Skype. My Skype is in the info of the video. Every time I go live, if you click at the info, you will see my Skype. Very easy. It's in the info. And my Skype is open. And if you call me, and you can prove to me that Muhammad was smart, I will send you a free golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. 
Who want to do it? Anyone? And this is very authentic hadith, as you see, this is al-Bukhari. This is al-Bukhari. The game of weak and strong, you know, the, the Muslims always, they try to escape the immunity and the stupidity of their prophet. So anything you show them, they say, this is not accepted. It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and explain to me what was the reason to abrogate the wisdom of Muhammad if he was not so stupid? Why Allah did not send a dish of faith, belief, and wisdom to Moses? The answer is very simple. Moses is a Jew. He is a smart. Why Allah did not do the same to Abraham? The answer is very simple. Abraham is not a Muslim. He is smart. Why Allah did not do that to Isaac, Jacob, Isa, as they call him? According to the Quran, Isa, they, 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 they claim that Isa is Jesus. He was born with wisdom. Would you dare to step into the ring with uh, Khattab or Tits? My friend, would they dare to step to my ring? So we can make, so we can make them shish kebab. And let me tell you something, you know, your khattab and your tate, they can win a game because it's a game. But in reality, they will be dead in two seconds. Just let us see how they do when they fight in the street. <laughs> this is a game, you stupid. There's a guy between them always. Let us see what they can do in the street. Can you step to him? <laughs> We saw the hero of Shishania, Kadarov, how they got, like, I mean, they, the, the, the Ukrainian, they, they, they wiped them out of the ground. They're all like cats and dogs. What is the guy want to take, uh, you know, he want to take uh, the capital of Ukraine, Kiev, in 22 days? What happened to the guy want to take Bahamut in two days? What happened? Where you know, but she's Hamos. They grew a beard. Short time. They showed themselves wearing a a kajet. They don't even know how to use it. And when the real fighter came to them, I'll bye bye. Bye bye. The show is over. We saw you. We saw you. We saw you in Syria. We saw you in Lebanon. We saw you in Iraq. We saw you. All of you are potatoes. We demolished you. Anyway, we go back to our topic. My friend, focus with me, focus. Obviously, you are just like your prophet who need a dish of wisdom so you can speak wiser. Please don't buy a Budweiser unless you are a Muhammadan. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and show us? Huh? That we are wrong. Yeah, those games you see in TV, those are not, you know, this is not a real fight. But actually, most of them already, you know, they, they set up, like they do, because they do gambling, they set up who will win, you know. Like the, there is the manager of the fight, usually. Both of them, they have to agree to, you know, to lose. Not in the old cases, but sometimes they do it. However, this is just a game. But real fight is where people die like rats. Go right now and search how many champion they got killed after a fight with somebody. Simple. They call them champion. I call them champagne. Who dare to call me?
Anyone? Why Allah? And by the way, here we have a serious question. How come Allah, he sent an angel I wanted to see love what you're doing ex-muslim now Christian here thank God CP God bless you okay we have somebody left Islam that's wonderful I just received this message happy for you my friend who's next How come Allah, he needed to send his angels to fix mental health issue of Muhammad? He is obviously not wise. He's a stupid. And he is obviously, he don't have faith. He's a pagan. So how Allah, he fix it? He send them two angels and then they cut the chest of Muhammad all the way to his balls. And then they install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Any Muhammadan? Hmm? Another stupid thing, Muhammad, to show you that he is mentally ill, that when he went to the seven heaven, he found where the Nile River and Euphrates is coming from. Yes, brother. When he arrived to the first heaven, he saw two rivers. Prophet Muhammad, because he is a person who likes geography, he's taking notes. Behold, he saw two flowing rivers while he was in the nearest sky. He asked, What are those, these two rivers? O oh, Jibreel. Jibreel, he said, Brother Sister, Prophet Muhammad asked me, What is those two rivers? I said to him, These are the sources of Nile, of Euphrates, and another river. Now you tell me, if Muhammad is not so smart and not so dummy, no, and not so idiot, no, and not so liar, no, and not so imaginary person, no, and not a full of, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to use that word, uh, 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 full of fictions, <laughs> no. How in the world he come to the conclusion that the Nile River and the Euphrates, they are coming from the sky, brother? Really? And here you see, it says here, the source. Ah. What source? Okay. Well, it says the word source. It says here is the branch of the Nile River. Branch, branch. The Nile. You know, this is where it's coming from. And here you need to ask yourself, did Muhammad really go to the heaven in the sky or he went to Ethiopia and he went to Turkey? Like a Greek. Respect Zach and Naik. I respect him all the time. Breath and breath. Breath of all, you are a liar. You never respect me and you made fun of me. Zach and Naik, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying what you say. If you say my say, I don't really admit it. But all what you you know, some spice to what I say. I add what? Some spice to what I say. I add spice. Exactly. Okay, Zakar, listen. You're a prophet. Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith in his chest and in his vein. How you explain that to me? You are a doctor, don't you? It's very simple. Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. He was very smart, but Allah wanted to be smarter. So Allah said himself, I'm going to abrogate Prophet Muhammad. As an example, the company that call you, they say, sir, do you want to abrogate your bucket? What? 
the, the company they call me and they say to me do you want to abrogate your package exactly and what this have to do with our topic this is exactly what the liberal do with my mother like what speak slowly man you are i cannot follow with you so allah he said himself i'm going to abrogate my Muhammad, and now i'm going to make him the smartest in the whole world okay so you want to make him the smartest in the whole world exactly so allah he sent a big big this full of gold you know for you forgot what full of gold give them friends either they full of gold no you said full of gold okay maybe by mistake you said full of gold it's me who said that it's you who said that Get the print. I said it's full of wisdom. Okay. No, you said full of gold. I swear by Allah, I did not say full of gold. Okay. Jack or Nayak is recorded. Get the print. You are a liar, and I don't care what is recorded or what is not. I said it's full of wisdom. Okay, 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 no problem. So is it why Allah sent a dish full of wisdom to Muhammad? Why he was dumb? Get the print. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. May Allah curse you. I know somebody. He made fun of Prophet Muhammad. Do you know what happened to him? Yeah, what happened? I know. Do you know what happened? He became a president, Trump. Okay, send the topic. Hey, Muslims. This is your Zakir Naik. He found the Nile River in the sky and the Euphrates. And you receive a dish of faith and wisdom. So now Muhammad, his faith source is a dish. And uh, Jabril, he stuff it in his chest. Mm. Josh saying, you have no right to bad mouth Islam when your Bible is just as silly, I don't know, Josh, you are stupid. If you change your name, call yourself Muhammad. So how my book is a stupid silly and the Quran confirm it, you stupid. <laughs> Isn't it the Quran says, Musaddiqan lima ma'ahum? Josh, change your name to Jash. You know what Jash mean? Donkey. This is your Quran. Don't use names that have nothing to do with you. This is your Quran. So if my book is funny, that means the Quran is stupid again. So now you will go. You are saying to me, don't bad mouth. Isn't it? This is a stupid Quran in chapter 2. As an example, not limited. Verse number 89 says, When come to them the Jews, a book which is the Quran, confirming what is with them. And by the way, it doesn't say the Jews. This is additional. See the Muslim, they add things here. It's not there. Those are the people of the book, the Christian and the Jews. You are not a Muslim, or well, you are a donkey still. Because if you are not a Muslim, and you are saying to me, I have no right to bad mouth Islam, but Islam is bad mouthing you for not being Muslim. So you must be a certified donkey. Because while you are, while you are angry about bad mouth Islam, saying the truth about it, when Islam describe you as the less than an animal, just because you are the Muslim, you have you know no point except being stupid you must be a person who votes for joe biden maybe don't fail in the state and you are not able to stand up do we have any muhammadan there to call us and tell us why allah decided to do plastic surgery for the prophet who was the first person who joined discovery channel and he found where the, the where the nile river and where uh, the Euphrates came in from. And look, Muhammad was the first man who discovered that woman is a shaitan. She come as a shaitan, she leave as a shaitan. Yet Muhammad, he promised the Muslim 72 shaitan at least. I mean, she is a shaitan. And what is the reward for the Muhammadan if they believe in Allah? To sleep with the shaitan. A lot of shaitan. Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? Mayday, mayday. How do you do? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you if you don't call me to make you barbecue. Huh? I'm just pointing my hypocrisy. Uh. 
Well, you know, I don't know. Uh, you see, uh, just to show you what you said is stupid. So I'm assuming that you are. So are you an atheist, Mr. Josh? Are you an atheist, my friend? If you're an atheist, tell me. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's not. I mean, your mom, she did that to you, maybe. I'm just pointing out uh, your hypocrisy. The Bible has a cre creationism. Will we believe in creationism, you stupid donkey? You believe in what? You used to be a, a, a paramecium, and then you have a nose now? You stupid. You believe in theory. You don't believe anything. You are just a stupid. We believe in creation because simply everything has the signature of a same creator. This is why you see, if you look at the cat, if you look at the dog, if I look at you, without looking at donkeys, I will see that you have too much similarity to cats and uh, rats. Have you explained that? The answer is very simple. You are made in the same manufacturer by the same maker. We go to the second topic. The Bible believes the doctrine of original sin. You are a certified donkey again. Do you know what original sin means? Original sin sin means there's a man, his name is Adam commits sin, that's it, and he was kicked out of it. But we, we people, we did not do the original sin. No, only, and that's, that's, that's what original sin means. You are a stupid donkey monkey. You do not know what are you talking about. Did you change your diaper today? You did not. It's not your fault, it's what your mom. And then you say, Noah flood, eh, I can search right now in two seconds. I will find that the, the scientists, donkeys like you, they said that the whole earth was covered by water in certain time. This is what there is. <laughs> search. Do you know how to use Google? You don't know how to use Google. You are an atheist. Because atheists are used by Google. They don't use Google. That makes sense. And then you say, Etc. I like the etc. As an example, your mom is not your mother according to you because you're an animal. So the, when the last time you had sex with your mother, etc. If you say to me you don't want to have sex with your mother, you need to explain to me why. Aren't you just an animal? So when you want, you take from the Christians the value of what is right, what's wrong. Can you tell the people here why you don't want to have sex with your mom? Don't tell me she's ugly. Come on. Stupid. So those atheists, you know, they ask them, do you have sex with your sister? You say, hey, why are you insulting me? Okay, your mom. You are insulting me again. Okay, so why you don't want to have sex with your mom? As long as you're an animal. Have you seen an animal he don't have sex with his mother? Correct? Since when the animals, they have a value of like, mom, hey mom, meh, can I have sex with you? Stupid. We laugh at you. So you cannot live without us. You talk about what makes sense and what does not make sense. But in reality, you take from us to make you, the, like, what make you feel like you are a human. But the rest of the day, you like to feel like an animal. By the way, are you wearing a skirt or a painting, you know? Because you don't even know what is a girl, and you are talking about that they may make sense. What is a woman? I will tell you what is a woman. Do you like to call me? You know, I I, I don't talk to atheists, by the way, but maybe I can, uh, you know, I can take you for a snack. What is a woman? I mean, have you ever heard that after thousands of years of human history, you stupid atheists, you do not know what is women? I will tell you what is a woman. I do not eat need to go far, you know. Are you going to call me? We are proud of it. We are proud of it. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. We'll be watching. Oh, there is a song. Here we go. See, I can show you what is a woman. Can you show me what is a woman? 
So you stupid people, you, you know, you claim that you have a brain, but in reality you don't. You, don't, you are confused who is a man, who is a woman, men wearing skirt, and the, 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 man, the, the man wearing skirt and the women wearing the pant. I have been fan for a year while I really think you should start more charitable to your enemies. Turn the cheek. Uh, we are Christians. You know, Tiffany, I am not what you think. I am a crusader. If not the crusader, you will be a Abdul, a slave of the Muslims long time ago. And you do not understand the Bible because simply you did not read it. Turning the cheek was not teaching of Jesus that people can beat you. There was a law in the time of the Roman where if somebody hit you in a certain cheek, he go to jail. So Jesus was teaching them, use the law. Otherwise, Jesus, the same person, he said, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. So the priest who taught you about turn the cheek is an idiot. And I'm sure you never heard that Jesus said that the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. You never heard of it, don't you? <laughs> they want to show always Jesus. Those are the Christian hippies. You know the hippies? Jesus, he gave hugs to everybody. Let me hug you. Can I hug you? This is not Christianity. And this is a big fat lie. Only donkeys, they believe in that. Jesus, he flipped tables on people. Jesus called them evil doers. He called them serpent. He was speaking to the Jews. Evil. Sons of Satan. So what are you talking about? Are you sure you did read what Jesus said? I did not even get close to what Jesus said. I'm not calling the Muslim son of serpent. Jesus did. This is what happened when those hippies, you know, they go to hippie churches who they have nothing to do with the Christianity and they teach him that Jesus, he used to have a ring in the ear and a ring in the nose and he used to give hugs to everybody and he colored his forehead with some like a, I don't know, red orange hair and he have a tattoo says, I love you. That is not Christianity. Those are fools who destroyed you. If you don't like to listen to me, you can leave. Please don't forget to close the door. Do we have any Muhammadan? Read more science book. You are confused one. My friend Josh, I did really read books. I, I, as an example, I, I'm, you know, I don't want to be uh, like harsh with you, as Tiffany, she said. I decide, I just wrote up, you know, I, you know I, I, like, I saw a book yesterday, and the book was saying uh, how to block somebody in YouTube because he is annoying and stupid. I asked you to call me, you don't want to call me. I gave you an answer, you gave me no answer. You are asking me to read science book. Science book says Big Bang. Here we go. This is my bang for you. Hmm. If you don't believe in the Big Bang, I will make you believe in it today. Here we go. Huh. Here we go. Hide this user. You want to call me? Call me and be a man. Otherwise, you are a mosquito. And you have no place here. All right. If you don't like what I say, why you stay here? Don't be stupid. And if you say that Jesus was not harsh, that is a stupid of you. Jesus was very harsh. Because he was saying the truth. This is why he was killed. If he was a hypocrite like you, giving hugs to everybody, nobody would crucify him. If he was perfectly correct with the rabbis, they will not take him to the cross. He was exposing them. He was demolishing them. This is why Jesus was crucified. Who is a Muhammad and would like to call me and prove to me that Muhammad is not mentally ill. Mentally ill. Mentally ill is good, by the way. This is new English.
Anyone? You have to ins you have to. I'm going to have to unsubscribe. You have changed so much. Oh, Tiffany. Though before you go, can you give me a hug? You heard my feeling. Do you like to call me in Skype so we can cry together? I was I changed so much. Tiffany. Everybody will laugh at you because this is how I talk since I was a kid, you idiot. I used to be fired from school every day. In fact, in the high school, I was fired from all the schools in the country. All the schools. You changed. Don't tell that to my mom. She would die laughing. You've been changed as if she was my wife and she knew how it used to be. People, they are watching me for the last 20 years and you're saying to be changed since when? Christian Prince, I'm going to unsubscribe. I ask people to unsubscribe every every broadcast. Hey guys, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you double reward. You subscribe and then unsubscribe because Allah, that subscribing to me is a bad deed. But when you unsubscribe, Allah will give you double reward because you delete the bad deed. So unsubscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe. Stupid people, you are talking to me. I will wipe the floor with you with stupidity. Don't try to be smart. Didn't you know they don't dare to call me because they knew they are, they are, I'm going to whip the floor with them and now you are claiming to be a Christian. You are no Christian. The people have spoken. You are no good. Israel, he believe in democracy. <laughs> I don't know Israel. I have a hundred thousand, thousand subscribers in this account. 110,000 subscriber in the other account and one person you don't want like I say and you are saying people have spoken and look as long people have spoken you still you are here you donkey you must be mental so I'm not good and you are coming here to listen to me that's so deep that's so deep brother very deep mm. do we have any Muhammad? Muhammad was right. No, actually, let me show you. Muhammad, he said, Allah said to Muhammad, if you have a question, if you have a doubt about Islam, ask Christian Prince. Let me show it to you in the Quran. Additional proof, prove Muhammad to be mental. Because how the Christians are wrong, and then his God saying, if you have a doubt about Islam, ask, the, ask Christian Prince. <laughs> Chapter 10, verse number 94. Read with me, read, read, read and die laughing. Look at the heck is that? What the heck? Muhammad, he have a doubt about his religion? He have a doubt? What the heck? Muhammad himself, he don't believe he's a prophet? You know, my cousin Shakespeare, Shakespeare, he is the first one who wrote the book. It's called To Fart or Not To Fart. That is the question. I think Muhammad, he had it. And uh, he say, I'm prophet. He fought. He say, I'm not prophet. He fought again. So prophet, not prophet, prophet, not prophet, prophet, not prophet. So Allah get dizzy. So he said to him, Muhammad, give me a break, man. If you have a doubt that you are a prophet, go and ask the Christians. Additional proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. How you are a prophet. Listen carefully. This is not a guy who is going to believe in the religion. He is the prophet of the religion. And he himself, he himself, he have a doubt about himself being a prophet. Any Muhammadan? If there is any Muhammad who would like to join us live on air, my Skype is open. Was Muhammad mentally ill or was not? Another proof that Muhammad was mentally ill. Let us go. 
actually we have endless numbers of them some of them we mentioned already some we did not I don't know what to mention to you uh, if you see somebody taking a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage how you explain that to me healthy person or mentally ill Is that my statement? Is that Da'if Hadith? No, it says Sahih. Look, it says Sahih. You see the word Sahih? Sahih. The one in bold. Al-Hukum Sahih. We saw the Muslim video speaking about farting. Break your prayer. Yet Muhammad, he go and he wash with dead dogs, little tiny water in the size of a jacuzzi, and this water is coming from garbage. It is a water coming from the house as people wash dishes, go to the little tiny location in the town, small village uh, uh, of Mecca, and that is the, the well of Bida'ah. That's why they call it well of Bida'ah. Bida'ah is garbage. So in the well of Bida'ah, which is the well of garbage, was well which into Ministral clothes, dead dogs, stinking things were thrown. You see, we are in the desert. Nobody will throw garbage in water unless this water is already used. It's not a well of water. Maybe one day it used to be a well of water. If he is not, and this is after Allah, he made for him a surgery and he installed wisdom. Any Muhammadan, it was said, O Messenger of Allah, you perform ablution from a well which the body of dogs, minstrel, rags, and garbage are throwing? The wise prophet answered and he said, water is pure and is not made impure by anything. Who can come with such a wisdom unless he is a person who had already plastic surgery from Allah. Let us face it. Since Allah, he installed a dish of faith and a dish of wisdom, the Prophet is acting so weird because now he is so wise. In other way, he is a genius. In other way, he is a genie. Yes. So the genie Muhammad, he is so smart he been taught by his God. If you see the Arab himself, I mean, the better when they used to take a shower once a year, maybe. This is what my grand, 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 grandfather told me. You know, as I'm an, I'm an Arab, I asked him, like, when the last time you took a shower? He said, uh, uh, you know, which means, like, don't even mention it. You don't remember, you know? So, uh, the water is pure. And the people are asking, even the Arab who take a shower once a year, because water is rare. They said to him, are you washing yourself, you idiot? Would water have bodies of dogs? I mean, dogs, not one dog. Dogs, dogs. And women rags from ministration. And gar stinking garbage in it. The prophet, he got the answer ready. Psh, stupid people. Stupid people. First of all, my name is Ali Dawa, and I know best. Water is pure and nothing make it impure, proven scientifically. Who can come with this unless he is genius? Otherwise, genius. Do we have any Muhammadan? Until now, zero Muhammadan texting me. Hmm? 
The only one who was upset is Israfil and Tiffany. Any Muhammadan? I mean, it's hard to make the voice of Aidawa. You know, I'm a I'm a person full of testosterone. You want me to make a voice of a girl? That would be very hard. Who is a Muhammadan? Hello? Water is always pure. And then the Muslim, they make videos about the Prophet teaching us hygiene. Hi what? Hi, hi, hi what? Hi jeans? Are you to, what? And then they say that the Prophet, if we listen to, there's a guy, his name Dr. Sabil Ahmad. You know, I made a video for him, first video, second video, third video, five videos, seven videos, challenge him to come and call me the coward. All of them, all of them didn't hear me. But if Apostate Prophet or David Wood, when I debate them, they will line up right away. Do we have any Abdul? Hygiene, hygiene, yeah. No, in my English is hygiene, you know, because Muhammad was wearing jeans at that time. <laughs> There's tons of videos about the Prophet, and you know, Prophet, Prophet, he taught us how to fight Corona. How, brother? He says, if you do uh, sneeze, cover your mouth, you stupid liar. This is not what he said. Your Prophet, he was talking about if you open your mouth, Shaitan, he jump in your mouth, not for a health purpose. I mean, do you see how they lie? Let us see. Ah, oh, fuff, fuff, fuff. Okay, let us find the hadith. Science, science. This is after Muhammad. You know, he had the plastic surgery. So imagine Muhammad before the surgery. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> you know, I'm really upset that if I do yawning, Shaitan, not only he jump in our mouth, the filthy Shaitan. He laugh at us loud. Can you believe it? And this is the, the statement of Prophet Muhammad after the surgery. This is after he gets smarter. The Messenger of Allah said, Sneeze is from Allah. <laughs> Allah, he loves sneezing and he dislikes yawning. I mean, look at the title of the chapter. Can you believe it? You can make a movie about this chapter. What about we make a movie, we call it Let Us Sneeze for the Sake of Allah. In fact, long time ago, I opened a chat room in Palto, call it, I opened it in the Islamic section. I called it Let Us Sneeze and Make Allah Happy, something like that. I don't remember the exact title, but it's like Let Us Sneeze for the Sake of Allah, something like that. And then the Muslim, they went to Palto and they asked Palto to shut down my chat room. I start negotiating with the company. I says, why I need to shut it down? This is what the Prophet said. Or what I'm asking them to come in the mic, sneeze. Let us make Allah happy. Allah love those who sneeze. He hate those who do yawning. I'm trying to make Allah happy. What the problem? That's you. So in the time of the flu, Allah will be very ticklish. 
Mm. My friend, I will laugh when you are punished by Allah SAWT. <laughs> yeah, you know, Muhammad, why Allah cannot punish me now? And in the same time, you will be happy and you will be laughing when you are punished, punished by Allah. Is WT? What is that? Is WT? Susu? Wicked? Tits? You Muslims add something stupid. What what is AWT? I mean, I'm waiting for you. Tell me honestly. Hey people, don't you want to know what SWT mean? Allah is WT. What is WT mean? Sewage. Uh, what is that? Go. I'm waiting. What what is that? How in the world anyone he add to the name of his God something? What happened, Muhammad? Mahmoud. Oh, your name is Mahmoud. Hold on, hold on. Your name is Mahmoud, Quran 2117? No way. Are you serious? You are Quran 2117? Let us go there. Man, you are priceless, brother. You are coming from a chapter number 21? No way. That, that is something. Uh, okay. How Abraham, he found that they are an angel, brother? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let us see. We will go. Uh, 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 we will go with the verses. Let us go here. I want to go to the verse you know you are coming from. If we wanted an amusement, we could have found it within us. This is your name. If Allah want to take a wife, he will take it from us. And you choosing from all the Quran this verse to put it next to your name but you just approve that Allah is not one and there's many Allah and Allah want to marry a woman or sleep with the women from us prove me wrong do you dare to call me and prove me wrong what do you think guys do you think this Muhammad and dare to call me and prove me wrong he is the one who chose in the name to be the, ch the chapter. He put it next to his name. Don't change your name now. Too late. How Allah is one God, and then if you want to choose a partner, it's not a wife? I'm a liar? You hurt my feeling now. Thank God I'm a man, not a woman. Like Lee Dawa, otherwise I would be crying. Okay, let's see. Maybe we have a Muslim. Hold on. Let us see. <coughs> Maybe we have a brave Muslim, you never know. Maybe we got lucky. Hello? Why are you changing your voice? You are changing your voice, what is that? You're trying to find me? Okay, what do you want to say to us? What do you think about the verse on the screen? You you got to understand one thing. Hmm. You have your opinions about Islam. Okay. But right now, because of everything you're doing, you're causing my family a lot of trouble. 
Oh, what, what happened? Yes, everything started with my kid. He started watching your videos. Okay. And then one day, he insulted me saying that Muhammad is a donkey. Hmm. You are a fake Muslim. You are not a Muslim. No. Just get that. I don't have time for people faking it and the stupid. Get lost. Who is a real Muslim when I call me? No, he's not Muslim. He's just an idiot. Hey, Mahmoud, are you going to call me? Anyone he will do this, faking to be a Muslim, I have no respect for you. You know, that that's stupid. Do we have any Muhammadan there to call me? Hey, Mahmoud, come on, call me. You are the one who chose in this verse. How Muhammad he claimed that he have one God, yet, and you said, you said this is not a wife. Guys, did he say that? He said, doesn't say a wife. He said that, right? I took a screenshot for it. What if I show you that it is a wife? In fact, it's not even a wife. It's just a woman for fun. A hooker. Do you want to debate me about it? You know what? I know you will never call me. Why are you changing topic now? For you, Quran 928, my friend, Quran 928 is not even for Muslim. This is false for the Jews. This is what was said by Musa. You are certified idiot like your prophet. According to your stupid Quran, Muhammad is quoting Musa. Mental, again. I never saw a Muslim he knew what he's talking about. But don't change the topic. You say this is not about a wife, you are a liar. Well, we can just change the translator. Huh? What do you think? I just changed the translator. I did not change the book. Huh? Guys, does it say wife? Does it say wife? It says wife, right? Had we intended to take a past time, i.e., a wife or a son, because in order to have a son, you have to have a wife, etc. We could surely have taken it from us. You said it doesn't say that, CP. Your Islamic website, who is the translator? Let us see. Is that a Christian prince? No. Hilali, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. You have two Muhammad. So who is the liar, uh, Mahmoud? This is the verse you choose for us. If Allah want to take a wife, he will take it from us. That means he have people from his kind to take. He said from us. You see, when you ask the Muslim why Allah keeps saying us, they say to you, he speak like majestic, which is very funny because it looks like Allah is not satisfied with being one. So he like to be sound many, fake man, many. You know, fake many? When kings, they say us because simply... There is many. The king, he's, he ruled by the, his name and the name of the nobles who selected him to be the king. The king is not the king just by himself. So when he say we, he's speaking about him and his council and the nobles who they accepted him to be a king. When Allah, he say we, and the Muslim, they say Allah speaking like a majestic king, that is a stupid because Allah, obviously, he don't like to be I, and he is not satisfied with I, so he prefer fake we. Because if he is not we, and you add us and we to your name, that is still fake. How you can be majestic by lying? Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? As you see, we prove in two seconds, and we can open the interpretation. In fact, the verse is proving that Allah is a man because he want to take a wife, and those wives, if we go to the tafsir, we will find that they are 
the virgins. And what is the virgins? They are a human created for Allah followers, a human like him. And now Mahmoud, he will play dead. Allah won a partner with we. Who are they? Female. And they are from us. Do we have any Muhammad that want to prove me wrong about Muhammad? You see, we are examining the mental health of Muhammad, and obviously his, his, this person is totally in chaos. Let us see another example of Muhammad health issue, mental health issue. You see, if somebody have a mental health issue, we cannot make fun of him because that's not his fault. But this guy, he deceived millions and millions by his mental health. So he is not really the target as much as the target is to save the followers from a stupid mentally ill person. If we go, like now we mentioned to you this, that Allah like the one who sneezes, he hate the one who yawn, and shaitan, he jump inside his opening if you do yawning. Can we say that Muhammad is a smart, intelligent being or he is being a stupid? when he said that. Is that a statement of someone smart? If I come to you and I claim to be a prophet and I say, my God, he like the one who sneeze and he dislike the one who do yawning. And when you yawn, shaitan jump inside your mouth and he laugh at you. Be honest with me, Muslims, what you will say about my statement. Just be honest. You will laugh at me. You will make tons of videos about me to humiliate me. Is that correct, people? You see the hypocrisy? If a person right now, he claimed that he's a prophet and he said this, and Muhammad did not say that, the Muslim, they will die laughing at him. They will make videos about him. They will smear him. They will publish it. Look at the funny, stupid prophet. He appears suddenly claiming to be a prophet and look, he said his God said to him, Allah like yawning, like sneezing. Allah more honor, more bigger, not for him to have a son. <laughs> I told you it's all about size. <laughs> okay, I will go with you. Allah, he cannot have a son. He is big. Is that why Jesus have no sons? <laughs> <laughs> why Jesus has no sons and wives in the Quran I'm going with you Allah does not have a wife and he don't have a son well that is the description of Jesus because Jesus he never had a wife and he don't have sons are you going to worship Jesus now low IQ stupidity and you know if Allah he is higher than having a son why he's saying if we would like to have a, a, a wife we would take it from us if he is higher than that you see he just said I will take it from us if we would like I will take it from us so is, it, is your God is a stupid Jesus is the only prophet you, you are answering the question you said that God is higher than having a son or having a wife. Jesus never had a wife and never had a son. He is a miracle of Allah. Prove it. Allah could not do any miracle of Jesus. You see, the Muslims, they lie to us. They say that Jesus himself is the miracle of God, aka Allah. But the God of Islam, he cannot do anything Jesus did. In fact, he's an idiot. As an example, he explained the earth as a flat and the sun goes every day to take a dip in a muddy, murky water and the baby is made from the backbone sperm and women have a sperm coming from her ribs. So if Allah is God, shouldn't he knew at least, I mean, if he's the creator who created Jesus, shouldn't he knew how a baby is created? <laughs> I 
I never met a Muslim who is smart, to be honest with you. I'm not insulting anyone. Never, never. The only smart Muslim is the one who is left Islam already or is in his way to leave Islam. In fact, I can show you a video of Muslim scholars saying that a Muslim should not use his brain because if he does, if he does, he will leave Islam. In fact, this is in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Let us see. In this stupid Quran, <clears throat> we have tons of verses. Hilarious. But just to give an example, sorry, I'm getting, I'm making you blind now. Oh, who you believe, ask not about things which if made the plain to you. may cause you trouble but if you ask them while the Quran is being revealed they will be made plain to you so what the purpose of the Quran verse number two because there is a narration before you they ask the same question and they become disbelievers do you see it And now if I go right now and talk about a Muslim, he should tie his brain the same as he tie a donkey. Am I going to find the video? I will. Let me see. Here we go. I found I found one. A Muslim he should tie his hair, he should tie his brain the same as he tie a donkey. Am I lying? Anyone who speak Arabic? He understand. In fact, the title, let me let me use Google Translation. Hold on. At least for the title. Give me a second. <laughs> Every Muslim should tie his brain the same as you tie a donkey. When you come to Allah, you don't use your brain. You don't. You will be in trouble. Otherwise, you cannot come to Allah. Okay, I use Google Translation for the title. Muhammad Hussein Yaqub, Sheikh, the mind is the donkey. Now, translation is not really accurate. And here there's a comment. And according to Sheikh Muhammad Hussein Yaqub, the donkey must be, be tied before thinking about religion. Translation is not accurate. He's speaking about the mind is a donkey and must you must tie up your donkey which is your brain before you think about religion this is what the muslims do when they teach their kids the brain is a donkey and you have to tie up your donkey
Because if you don't tie up your donkey, you will leave Islam. Do we have any Muhammadan he did not tie up his donkey yet? Oh, we are talking about a donkey. I'm not going to mention the story of Muhammad asking the donkey if he liked females and then turned to be that the donkey he is a gay. He said to him, oh, oh, I don't like females. Have you ever heard of a donkey he is a gay? A donkey, he don't like females, why? However, there's a nicer story. About the Burak, the donkey which took Muhammad to fly. When Muhammad wanted to ride the donkey, this donkey, he don't want Muhammad to ride him. And then Jibreel said to him, Shame on you, donkey. Do you know who is this? This is a prophet Muhammad. The donkey, he put his head down full of shame. He didn't know that this is prophet Muhammad. In the beginning, he didn't want him to ride him. The second he heard that he is the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad himself. He felt, he felt so much ashamed of himself. And the funny is that this donkey, he have, he have a face of a human. Any Abdul? Let us see if I can find this hadith. This one will be fun, hold on. But if we can find it. No, here we go. It's not exist in this website. Let us see this one. Muhammad, he don't lie. Look at this. Look at this story. Beautiful story. Full of reality. Al-Buraq was brought to Prophet Allah pray on him, not for him. Saddled and uh, reined but he shed from him. Can you believe it? So Jibreel said to him, you do this to Muhammad? You stupid donkey, you do this to Muhammad? By Allah, there is no one more honorable to your Lord than him. The donkey, when he heard this, his ass started sweating and dripping. What do you think about this story? It must be true. Mahmoud. Put yourself in the shoes of this donkey. The prophet will ride you, and I know you love it. You do not know that this is a prophet Muhammad, and you refuse to let him sit in the top of you. 
And then the angel Jibreel says to you, shame on you, you stupid donkey, son of Muta. You stupid donkey, a-hole. Do you know what are you doing? Do you know that this is the most important person to Allah? The donkey, he heard this. Oh boy. No, what the heck I did? What I did? You have no idea what he is doing. Must be true story. If there is any witness for the stories of Muhammad, nobody. Who was there? Nobody. Who saw it? Nobody. Yeah, I'm opening my heart to the beauty of Islam exactly. Any Muhammadan? I mean, name for me one thing Muhammad he said is not stupid. In storing the dish of wisdom, Muhammad takes shower with dead dogs. Uh, okay, hold on, we have endless stories. I mean, time is not helping me. It's already one hour and 36 seconds. I promised myself to make my video short, which is usually seven, eight hours only. And you know, the funny is, after I finish my video, like the, the last video, I have somebody, he said, you want to be hidden, be, hid, be hidden me. A person who left Islam. A person called me and he started showing me his ass and his penis. Uh, uh, you know, I, I mean, we spoke about tons of things and then nobody have a comment to, to make in the, in the chat. I mean, can you look, look how the comment is coming like rain in the chat. The second we finish here, nobody make a comment. As if I said nothing, they heard nothing, they are dead. Chat, they are heroes. The chat cannot stop, even we have to make it slow. After we finish, they are gone. Which means there's a lot of people coming here for a chat. That's why I get upset. I want people to learn. I want people to see the truth. I want people to help me to spread the truth. I want people to think with me, not only me thinking for you. And I don't see that most of the time. There's only a few people. I know them by name. They are the same people who keep coming. They post verses from the Bible, from the Quran, refuting Muslims. The same few people. The rest, they are useless. Who is a Muslim here would like to join us? Until now, zero Muslim is texting me. Any Muhammadan? Did the surgery hit Muhammad? Obviously, did not help. I mean, Muhammad after the surgery is just so stupid. As an example, Muhammad now decided to become a doctor. Muhammad suddenly he become a doctor. A person he come to Muhammad, and this is in Al Bukhari, which is very authentic. Muhammad is the kind of a doctor, if he is stuck with the medicine, that's it, until he changed his mind about a new medicine. So a man came to the Prophet and said, my brother has some ab abdominal, sorry for the spelling the word wrong, I do it on purpose, not because I'm not speaking good English, absolutely not. Uh, trouble, the Prophet said to him, let him drink honey. I mean, have you ever heard a person, a doctor like this? He claimed that Allah told him what the problem. He did not ask him, what else? Tell me, you know, where is your brother? What happened? No, just let him drink honey. The man came second time and said to the prophet, well, he is getting more ill. You know? He said to him, let him drink honey. He come third time and he said to him, he's getting more ill. I have done that. Then the Prophet shouts and says, Allah has told the truth. And your brother's stomach is lying. And then the guy, so let him drink honey. And the guy never came back. And the Muslim, they say he was cured. <laughs> 
He never came back because Muhammad almost killed him. He just told him, your brother. I mean, have you ever heard of a doctor? You say to him, my stomach is hurting. You say to him, Allah told the truth and your stomach is lying. <laughs> that, is a, that is a serious doctor. Your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. The guy, he make people in his pants and said, he said to himself, the terrorist, he will order his terrorist gang to kill me now. Hmm? Your, your stomach uh, told a lie? And then a guy never come back and the Muslim, they're saying he was cured. And here, if you ask guys, why Jesus, they say Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. Muslim, they say Jesus is a prophet of Allah. How come Jesus, he make the person cure without giving him honey? He did not need to come second time and third time. <laughs> he did not need to scream at him and say to him, your stomach is lying. <laughs> Muhammad, he is the best doctor in the world, sponsored by Allah. <sighs> My friend, you, Jesus, he say Allah hid upon them. How many version of the Bible you have? Please do respect the religion. Hey Abdul, we have many version of the Bible as a translation. However, you have many versions of what you call original. <laughs> you see, Mahmoud, are you sure you are not working for Christian Prince and you are not paid by him? You see, you idiot. When the Christian they say the uh, King James Version. This is a translation of J King James. So we have millions of translations and you have the same, you have many. So this is what version mean. But however, let me show you your prophet himself giving us another proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. Muhammad, because he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly. He been exposed to something very unique. Once two Muslims They had a fight. And what the fight was. <clears throat> One Muslim here recited the Quran, but he recited different from other Muslim he heard it. So this Muslim, he said to the other Muslims, what are you doing? This is not how the Prophet said. The other guy, he said to him, I swear by Allah, Shin, this is how he did it. <laughs> so they, you know, they grab each other and he took him to Muhammad. And there, Muhammad, he told the first one, you recite the verse. He did. He said to him, you are right, you are correct. He said to the other one, you recite the verses. He said, he recited. He said to him, you are correct too. How they can be correct? How the same verse have different words? Muhammad now need to fix it. Muhammad now need to duct tape it. Muhammad told him another lie to cover the previous lie that he's a prophet. That Allah, he sent me the Quran in seven way of recitation. Which means seven ways of different words. And what is the, how this happened? Nobody heard of that. Until those Muslims, they fight together. Nobody before heard, Muhammad never, this is why they are fighting. Nobody heard that Muhammad, he received Quran in seven ways. Seven ways? Did Jesus receive his book in seven ways? What about Moses? Ibrahim? Ishaq? Isaac? Jacob? Only Muhammad received seven ways? That's deep. And the funny is the story which Muhammad, he made up showing you how stupid he is, even though they did the surgery for him. He claimed that when Jibreel came to him to give him the Quran, 
Muhammad said to him, I beg your law burden. My people are so stupid, they cannot handle it. <laughs> handle what? One Quran is not enough. My people are so stupid. So he came second time, third time, fourth time, and each time Allah agreed with Muhammad and he gave him a new Quran. And they become seven Quran. Nice story. And now where we can find them? We don't even have one of them. And here, you guys, you need to ask yourself. Uh, Jana, uh, you know, if you have a question about donating, this, this is not, you see, I go live, I go off live, I don't talk about donation. We don't talk about donation here. You want to donate, you can go to Patreon. Others, because they worship money, they keep posting a link for donation. Donate, 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 donate. So if you have a question, this is not the topic, not the time. And you know, you're being like, and I mean, you're taking me out of my topic. So Muhammad now, trying to cover himself, and by trying to cover his lies as a prophet, he get himself busted. Because look what this what will do to us. And I want you to think with me. Why Allah need to send seven Quran if Allah is a good writer? Isn't it the Muslim they say that the Quran nobody can write like it? Are you with me? Imagine I have I have four books, right? Imagine I have to write each one of them seven more times so you guys can understand it or you can uh, you can handle it. So what he just said to us, showing us that Allah cannot make one book which is good to everybody. He have to correct his book Second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seven time. And after seven time, still nobody understand the stupid book. So what Muhammad he did by saying this story, which is very authentic, as you see, he proved to us that Allah cannot be God. Because if God is almighty, he can make a book so perfect. Having seven books for one book proven to us that he cannot make it. Are you with me? You know, when I was in the Middle East, and then when I ask a question to the teacher, the teacher, he don't even see my hand. No, not you, not you. Hey, not you again. I don't have an answer. No, 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 no. They have a big, you know, they have like a piece of rag in the top of their head is enough to cover a wound of 10,000 soldiers. They claim to be big shake. Their beer is touching their belly bone. The second you ask them a question, no, 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 not you, not you. First of all, you are a Christian. This is not why you are here. Why you are here? Yes, sir, I want to, you know, and the Muslim, they like to invite me to the classroom of the Muslim class because they thought they would convert me. You know, like, yeah, yeah, come with us, come with us. I say, sure, sure, yeah, let's go. You know, let's go. And I go there and I give them a screwdriver one after one. If this is a God and he wrote a book, why he need to rewrite the book seven times? And yet the people cannot handle it until now. Same time, look what happened now. The Muslim, they say, we recite the Quran. Brother Sitar, we Muslim, we memorize the Quran. Everything can but memorize the Quran. But nobody understand it. And which Quran you memorize? Which one of them? And as you see, your prophet, he says, my people cannot handle it. So one Quran is not enough. 
So if you memorize the Quran, you are not memorizing the Quran, you have to memorize seven Quran. And after memorizing seven Quran, if there is somebody which does not exist, doesn't even have one single copy of those seven Quran. After seven Quran, still nobody can explain to us one verse in the Quran. And this is why we open our Skype and nobody dare to call us. The only one keep calling me because he's so brave is Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, I offer him to debate. They answered me in Facebook long time ago. They said, you have to bring 2,000 people to Malaysia. Where? No, I think at that time it was India. I have to bring with me 2,000 people. I have to go there. And to show you that Muhammad is more stupid with his stories, he made a verse in the Quran saying that Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. What the heck? Allah will write Quran better than the Quran. How you do that? And now the Muslim they were refuting, they say, it doesn't say that, CP. Look at this translation. Whatever a verse, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? We bring better one or similar. Have you ever heard of something stupid like this before? You idiot, you just said you abrogate. What do you mean you bring something better or similar? And what make it more stupid is similar. So why you abrogate it if it is going to be similar? So we and why we are causing the Quran to be forgotten? I thought nobody shall forget the Quran. It turned to be that the Quran itself confirmed that the Muslim forget the Quran and Allah caused them to forget the Quran. And Allah will for make you forget the Quran and he will send you better Quran. How Quran can be better than Quran? And then to make it more poo, poo he said all similar. So what the purpose of forgetting the Quran? Why you make them forget the Quran if you are going to make them have similar Quran? Are you mental? What did you eat, Muhammad, before you write the, those, those verses? Anyone? Hmm? If you read the interpretation of this verse, you will see that the Arab, they say, this Muhammad, funny Muhammad, he says something in the morning, he forbid it second day. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, brother. He say it in the morning, he changes my second day. Look how fast, man, technology. He says something, he gave them a verse. People, they start complaining. What the heck would you, Muhammad? Are you stupid or what? Second day, Muhammad, he gives them different verse, the opposite. And this is a better verse. Because he's a fraud. Let us go and see the interpretation. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. It doesn't say that, CP. Huh. Read with me. Is that my words? Is that my website? Is that my translation? This is the official government of the fraud king of Jordan. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Interpretation of the biggest scholar, one of the biggest scholars of Islam, Ajalalain. When the disbeliever began to dride, dirt, the matter of abrogation, saying, <laughs> Muhammad, Muhammad enjoins his companion to one thing, and then the second day he forbid it. <laughs> the second day, Muslims. 
I mean, at least wait until the ink you wrote, the verse is dry. You enjoy them in order one day. The second day you change your mind and you abrogate. Second day. Muhammad, you have a fast customer service. The fastest ever. He want to give you better Quran? The Quran he received yesterday, it was from Rush Lumbo. Allah was in the rush. He wrote the verse when he was in the dush. And the ink was not good. So the word came bad. Allah, he sent it down. Muhammad opened the dish. After he received the dish of wisdom, he gave the Muslims the Quran. The Muslims, they start laughing. Ha, 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 ha. What the heck is this, Muhammad? Muhammad complained to Allah. Muhammad, he says, oh boy, touching his head. Sorry, Muhammad. This is the verse was not sent to you. It was sent to Christian prince. You sent this verse to Christian prince? Exactly. And you told him, in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women? Exactly. Have you ever heard of a stupid prophet like this? In the case of murder, a free man will be killed for a free man. Slave for a slave, women for, which mean, if a white Arab, he killed a slave, the Arab white man will not be killed. What a wonderful justice. If a man killed your wife, you kill his wife. You don't kill him. How smart, Muhammad. Genius. And you ask the Muslims, do you practice this verse? They say to you, no, 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 no. This is abrogated, abrogated. Look, what the heck? Why it's abrogated? Because people, they start laughing at him. Oh, who you believe? al qasas which means the punishment, is prescribed for you in the case of murder. Free for the free, slave for the slave, a female for the female. That will be so good if the female is Nancy Balusi. What the heck? This is the law of justice? A free man, he will not be killed if he killed a slave? Or if he killed the women? No, no, no. If he killed the women, you kill his women. How smart. How genius. How beautiful. Who can come with such a and then, to prove that this is funny and stupid, ask any Muslim, they will say to you this verse as abrogated. I mean, you see, this is, a, this is a, a, about justice. Why you abrogate justice? Why you abrogate justice? Do justice change by time? I'm trying to fail asleep. You want to fail asleep? Okay, just let me play for you the speech of uh, Joe Biden. <laughs> oh boy. As you see, my friends, I have my Skype open for the last almost two hours. Not a single Abdul. We are here exactly for two hours. Yeah, two hours. Not a single Abdul. Two hours and 30 minutes, maybe. Are we? I don't know. YouTube is confusing. Not a single Abdul he dared to call me. However, we as a Christians, we have to confess that Muhammad was so smart. Otherwise, you tell me why he said that the man, he should shake his penis three times after he pee. Once, and this is a true story, by the way. I told the guy, Shake it four times. He came out from the bathroom and almost he wanted to kill me. He said, did you know what you did to me? I said, what? He said, it came out. He Muslims, can you tell me why three times you shake your penis? Huh? And why you put a cotton in the anus? Is it true 99 dragons will go inside your anus? 
Is it true that two angels will ask you questions when you are dead? And they have a hammer of Thor and they will hit you on your head and you go down 70 cubits down if you don't get the correct answer? All of those coming from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the smart genius person, alone? Are you sure he did not ask somebody to help him with those stories? What about a Jassasa? The story of a Jassasa by itself is a movie. I love it. When I was a kid, I was reading about a Jassasa and I closed my eyes. And I said to myself, now I know who is a Jassasa. We have a neighbor, she is obviously mentally ill. Each time somebody stand under her window, she throw the dirty water on them. So I called her a Jassasa. The Messenger of Allah told us this is true story. One day, said in the pulpit, when some people were selling in the sea, their food was finished, and an island appeared to them. They went seeking bread. By the way, this is one version of the story. I will show you the other version of the story. Because Muhammad, he can't repeat the same version twice. Hold on. Yeah, this one is nicer. Yeah, let us see this one. This one maybe it's a... This one is from Better Family. But we have to skip the first 1,000 words. Muhammad saying nothing. <clears throat> Muhammad, he took this story from somebody who just converted to Islam and he was a Christian. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Speak. Hello? Are you a Muslim? And you are the same guy from Canada who want to give me a drama about Muslim being good and they are people who fear Allah, correct? Incorrect. Okay, why well, you are calling? What do you think about what I'm saying? Your prophet is mentally ill or not? Something happened yesterday, Mike. What happened yesterday? I felt the spirit talk to me. You said what? I felt the spirit talk to me. The spirit talk to you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think there's gonna be some problems. I, uh, I'm not gonna know how to get out of this. I don't understand. Explain to me what you are talking about. Well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't say it on the web. I think I'm gonna be in danger by saying it. You're being what? Maybe it's gonna be danger if I say it on the web. Okay, are you, so did you decide to leave Islam? I probably shouldn't say it on here, man. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you backstage. You talk to me later? You mean? Yeah, I'll talk to you another time, actually. Okay, but did you decide to leave Islam? Because each time you call me, this guy, each time you call me, he says Muslim are better than the Christians, Muslim blah, 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 and now today he's, he's, he's out of Islam. Okay. He said the, the Holy Spirit spoke to him. I don't know what he's saying. Some, something like that. I don't know. All right. What they can say. But last time he spoke to me, he gave me a lecture. You know, he accused me that I am not doing good work and I'm dividing people. And, you know, like he, he drew an image of me as if I'm the devil. And today he changed. Look what happened. All right. Sounds good. Let us go back to zero. So Muhammad, because he's a fraud, a person came to him, as you see, even the story saying he was a Christian who converted to Islam. He told me something, Muhammad believed in it right away, and he started telling the people all over. He said, uh, he told me something which agree with what I was telling you about the Dajjal. He narrated to me that he sailed in a ship along with 30 men of Abani Lahum and Bani Judham and has been tossed by the waves 
in the ocean for a month. Then the waves took them near the land within the ocean island. At the time of the sunset, they set a small sideboard and they entered the island. There was a beast with long, thick hair. And because of this, they could not distinguish his face from his back. They said, oh, we to you, who can you be? Thereupon the beast said, I am Al-Jassas. Brothers and sisters, Al-Jassasa on down. When Al-Jassasa is here, you better run to Kashmir. Al Jassasa is around. And she was so hairy. To the point you cannot see the front from the back. Actually, I have a video of a sheikh showing us the picture of a Jassasa. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me zoom in. <laughs> this is a video, by the way, from a TV station. This is a Jassasa? What? Is that a Bigfoot guy? <laughs> Brother! Are you sure? No way. This is a Jassasa? Look, here they have a different picture for him. Come on. I wonder where I saw this before. This is a Jassasa? No, this is a Dajjal, sorry. This is a Dajjal now. <laughs> Yeah, one. <laughs> Sorry, I have to mute the microphone. I can't stop laughing. Hardly I can breathe. Ugh. Brother, sister. Prophet Muhammad never lies. Never. Look, 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 I have another picture for Ajassasa. If, 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 this is Ajassasa. Yeah, she is very hairy. What the heck is that? <laughs> you know, the Muslims really, they are so good, man. Look, look, this is Ajassasa too. And that one in the right is the Dajjal. That's deep. I mean, we have to be honest here. You are saying to me that Muhammad is a stupid and mentally ill. Are you stupid or what? Hmm? How he knew all those things? I mean, those Muslims, they have a lot of fantasy. Look at this. What is All of this is the same person? Uh, 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 who? This is a Jassasa too. Look, look. A Jassasa. Look, look, look. Another. Hold on, hold on. Look, look, look. What the heck is that? This is a picture of the Messiah, the Dajjal. This is the false messiah. <laughs> Honest to God, guys, I'm not I'm not saying things from my I can show you the article. And not only that, the Muslim they claim that the hadith Muhammad is mentioning, this is in Cyprus. I'm 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 telling you, let me okay, hold on, let me you don't believe me, don't you? 
Shame on you. Let me open the article. Let me be sure first there's nothing bad there. Because sometimes Muslim they post articles in porn website. All right. Let us use Google Translation. Yeah, as I expected, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of commercial, you know. Yeah, this is the same hadith as we mentioned. Hadith of Tamim Ad-Dari about the Antichrist, the most controversial thing had arisen, etc. So this is. This is supposedly a Dajjal now. Brother, I was thinking where I saw this guy before. I think in the White House. Going back to the Hadith. So they told them this is a Jassasa and it is in Cyprus. And I said, O oh people, go to this person in the monastery, as he's very much eager to know about you. Listen, the story is getting complicated. So now we have a beast in the beach. We have the Antichrist in the monastery in a cave. And he was, and he is chained up. And I said, oh, people, go to this person is eager to know you. When it named the person for us, we were afraid of it. Lest I should be the devil. Then we hurriedly went on till we came to the monastery and we found the well-built person there with his hands tied to his neck and having iron shackles between his two legs up to the ankle we said we be upon thee who are you he said ha 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 you would come soon to know to come to know about me but tell me who are you we said we are people from arabia you idiot and we embark upon the boat in the sea, the way you push us here. And we got to the side of the boat and we entered the island and the island with the tail, we met a beast and the beast told us to come and see you. And the beast have a thick hair, we could not see his face from his anus. We say that we be to thee, who are you? They have to tell him the whole story from the beginning to the end, repeating the same thing. And she said, she's a Jassasa. And he says, go and meet this person. Okay, just to make it short. And we came to you. He, the one chained person said, tell me. <laughs> tell me about the date palm trees in the Basena. We said about aspect of their seek information. Like, what the heck? Why are you asking those questions, huh? Huh? We felt suspicious. He said, I asked you whether these trees bear fruit or not. We said, yes, yes, yes. Thereupon he said, I think this would not bear fruit. He said, inform me about the lake of Tabaraya. Who? We said, which aspect you want to know? He said, there is water in it. They said, uh, yeah, a lot of water, man. What are you talking about? A lot of water. Abundance, abundance of water in it. Thereupon he said, I think it should soon become dry. Remember Muhammad said, soon dry? This is the Dajjal. In the time of Muhammad, 1400 years ago, soon. Then he began and said, again he said, inform me about the spring of Zukar. Spring of what? Zakar, they said. Which, 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 which aspect you want to know? He said. The chain person said, "There is water in it, and does irrigate the land." We said, "Yes, yes, uh, there is water in it, and it does, uh, yeah, and uh, 
the inhabitants of Medina. Okay. A regate from it. Okay. He said, inform me about the illiterate prophet. Now, you, bingo. Now we are talking serious business. Bingo. Finally, we arrived to Muhammad, the illiterate prophet. The story, all the stories about Muhammad. You know, the, the rest is just a spice. What has he done? We said, uh, he has come to Mecca and uh, settled in Yathrib. Uh, he came from Mecca out, okay, and they went to Medina. And then he ate uh, shish kebab and ice cream. And he have a lot of wives, boom, boom. And his wife, Aisha, she is very old, six years old. And uh, okay. And then he said, they told him, you know, what happened? He says, we informed him. He had overcome those neighborhood and he had submitted themselves before him. They be, he forced them to convert to us now. Thereupon he said, as it, it actually happened. And the judge now is getting worried. Muhammad, he overcome his neighbors. Really? He cannot be serious. We said, yes. Thereupon he said, huh, if it is so, that is better for them. Look, Shaitan, he liked people to convert to Islam. He says it's better for them. I mean, you, can you believe it? This is supposedly the, the, the Antichrist. They should show obedience to him. Oh boy, the Shaitan is teaching people to obey Muhammad. Mm, that, that's a different story now. Shaitan must, must be supporting Muslims. I am going to tell you about myself. I am. And he said, And he would soon permit it to get out. And I shall get out and travel in the land soon. You see, all of this proving Muhammad to be false prophet. I mean, if you read the story, is really messed up. And then he speak about Gog and Magog. And the Gog of Magog, they will drink the lake of Tabaraya. And all the drama. This is Muhammad, the one we are examining his mental illness. And this is Muhammad after he received dish of faith and dish of wisdom. <clears throat> and here the story continues. He said, I will stay for 40 nights except the Mecca and Medina, as these two places are forbidden area for me. He will control the whole earth for 40 days, 40 nights. But he cannot go to Medina or Mecca. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Let us see of you who is very fast, fast in thinking. He's a thinker. Hmm? I know it takes time for you to, to receive the, my voice. There is a delay. I will help you. I will help you. This is the reason. Because there is a sign in the highway. It says, Muslims only. <laughs> Oh boy. By the way, Islam don't teach discrimination. They are not like the white people in South Africa. They have white bus and black bus. No. Here we have only highway for Muslims and highway for non-Muslims because non-Muslims are dirty. They will go to hell. That's why the sun is red. So at the judge, he cannot go there. He go, he see the sign. It says Muslims only. Are you kidding me? He is a very, you know, uh, uh, you know, like a law obedient citizen. He will never break the law. This is just Antichrist. He is not like not a big deal. He will control the whole earth, but he cannot go to Mecca. But just to show you how stupid Muhammad is, in one time, in, in one place, like in many places, he said, he will not enter Mecca. 
in the other hadith Muhammad he says that he will attack Mecca and even the Muslims will use the arrows of a Dajjal and his army which is Gog and Magog for seven years for wood fire let us see <clears throat> This is another story about Gog and Magog. It's more funny. And if we read about it, we will dial off into. We can play for you videos of Muslims. It is hilarious. Uh, uh, this is actually here. This is a clear proof that Muhammad is a big fat liar. Once he entered upon his wife and he was so terrified, he's really terrified. He claimed that Allah showed him that Gog and Magog, they made an opening, which means soon they will be here. Soon. Today, today, the danger coming near, you see it? A wee into the Arab from the danger that has come near, an opening has made in the wall of Gog and Mago. And this is 1400 years ago. Fraud. Let us continue. <clears throat> the same story you repeat all over. Uh, I'm just trying to find where he said that they will use Gog and Magog. Here, look, this is another story here. Gog and Magog, they are so big in number to the point they will drink the water of Tabaraya. You see that uh, at the Jal, he asked them about a Tabaraya Lake. He said, does it still have water? They said, yes. Why he asked them? Because Gog and Magog, they will prepare his way they will walk by Tabaraya and they will drink all the water. And by the time the last one of them pass, the lake of Tabaraya will be totally dry. Totally dry. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I want to show you, actually, this is endless. Let us see. Uh, let me make a better search than this. Let us see. <laughs> I'm just trying to find this hadith. Give me a minute. Let us see if we can find it. We showed it before, but I don't remember the exact word by word. Usually I remember them all. Uh, but you know, this idiot Muhammad have endless stories. Let us see if we can find this one. It's very easy to find the hadith in Arabic for me, but the problem is the English because you guys don't speak Arabic. 
Uh, yeah, look at this story here. The same, those are Gog and Magog. In this story here, Muhammad, he contradicts himself. The arrows of Gog and Magog, when they throw it at the city of Medina, it's going to come back to them. You know? Uh, <clears throat> Let us see here. Abu Hurairah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, as you see the story here. So they will shoot their arrows toward the sky and they will come back with the blood on them. The arrow, they will come back with the blood. I mean, very story. And then, if you remember, when uh, Yasser Qadhi, he spoke about how those Gog and Magog, they will be uh, the end of them. He said Allah will send animals like camels. They will grab them from their neck and they will destroy them. They fly. <clears throat> they are like camels, but they are big birds. And here there's a different story. Here it says, uh, after they defeat the people of the earth, the earth and dominated the people of, in the, of the heaven, Allah will send a warm in, in the naps of their necks and will kill them thereby. This is a different story. So Muhammad have many stories about how they will be killed. <clears throat> Let us see. And then he claimed Muhammad that the animals of the earth they will be fat from eating them. Let's see if we can have another. And all of this, by the way, is coming from the Quran. If you remember, in the Quran, Muhammad he claimed that Alexander the Great. He built a dam, if we go in the Quran. Chapter 18 in the Quran. When Zulkarnain, which is Alexander the Great, which is a fiction story, you know. Uh, Muhammad is copying it, and this story is exists very famous long before us now. So when he arrived in that area, those people who do not speak any language supposedly, they said to him, Gog and Magog, they are creatures who they do mischief in the land. And we will pay you to build a dam between us and them. And remember, this is Al-Qurnayn. The guy who conquered the earth and those people they will pay him. He just occupied their land. <laughs> Imagine Alexander the Great, he occupied the land, and now I say to him, We will pay you, man. Build it down for us. <laughs> and until now this dam cannot be found anywhere, anytime. And the Muslim, they have tons of a drama about it. In, the, in fact, the story of Gog and Mago caused a lot of Muslims to leave Islam with no coming back. Because this is obvious a story that Muhammad is a fraud. And because he have a mental illness and low IQ, he copy anything he hear. Let us see. <clears throat> when when Yasser Qadi he made the video about it, the Muslim they start swarming the guy from every every territory in the earth. They were so upset for what he said, especially about people leaving Islam because of what he said. 
Gorg and Magorg. Let us see. Give me a second. So the way you play this guy, Sajid, he's funny. He's a stupid. I mean, he is certified a stupid. Bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> as I was preparing for this video, which as you'll see, inshallah, it's a response to a lecture by Dr. Yasser Qadi about Ya'juj wa Ma'juj. I received a text message. It was from a number I didn't recognize. It's Kogamago. It was very urgent. It said, Assalamu alaikum, Brother Sajid. It's an emergency. Please call me uh, as soon as you get this. So I stopped what I was doing. I stopped working on the video. Man. And I called this brother. Okay. And I asked him, Is everything okay? Are you, are no. you all right? No. He was like, no, Brother Sajid, everything is not all right. Everything is not okay. What What's wrong? What happened? What happened? He said, my son doesn't believe in Islam anymore. Oops. I said, subhanAllah. No way. What happened? What did he say? And the brother said, my son, you know, he's, he's too smart. He... <laughs> that explained why he left Islam. <laughs> Guys, can you believe it? The guy, he said to him, he said to the guy, why your son left Islam? He said, "My son, because my son is so smart. The, the voice is low. I mean, that is how the video is. I don't know what to do. I called this brother. And I asked him, is everything Let okay? Let me see if I can increase the right? sound. And he was like, no, brother Sajid, everything is not all right. Everything's not okay. So what's wrong? What happened? He said... My son doesn't believe in Islam anymore. I said, SubhanAllah. What happened? What did he say? What happened? And the brother said, My son, you know, he's he's too smart. He, Obviously. he reads so many books. And he's such a good student. And, you know, he, he believes in science now. He believes in science and philosophy. He doesn't believe in Islam anymore. And uh, he wanted me to meet with his son. So I said, okay, sure, no problem. And we, we set an appointment to meet. And when I got off the phone, I was like, subhanAllah, this is exactly, exactly what this video was about that I'm working on. This is it. That's it. It's about people preferring their so-called intellect over the revelation oof, 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 oof. so anyways i met with this brother and his son and we had a conversation and i asked okay so what uh, what's going on you know and he started talking about evolution which he was taught in high school he started talking about this psychology class that he took in high school and this scientific theory and that philosophy and as he was comparing these philosophies and these scientific theories to the Quran and Sunnah, he said the Quran and Sunnah go against these, these scientific theories and philosophies, so I don't believe in them. So I asked him, I said, did you go to public school? He said, yes. I said, you went to public school for elementary, middle, and high school, and now you're in college here in America. He was like, yes. I was like, well, how much of the Quran have you read? And he said, well, you know, I've been through the entire Quran in Arabic. I was like, well, do you understand Arabic? He said, no. Do you? So I asked him. You do you, do you, 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 do you? <laughs> him, well, what about English? How much of the Quran have you read? Just shut up, shut up. You are boring. You know, you are boring. Anyway, I will show you a guy who is more, more smart, you know? I mean, this guy is really boring. Just forget about him. We have someone is a smarter. He will explain everything in two seconds. We do not need a drama. He said to me, I said to him, the guy left Islam, that's it. All right.
All right. You know, the, the, uh, uh, Ali Dawa, he is selling, uh, selling rags. Scammers. Okay, brothers and sisters. This is the guy who can give us the answer. Forget about the other guy. This guy, he have high school. This is the one he can do, give an answer. Go ahead, Lily. Wa alaykum as salam, wa alaykum as salam. This is something you stole from the Jews. Even the greeting you Muslims have, you took of, you took it from the Jews. You took it from the Christians. Okay, go ahead. Salam alaikum. Okay, salam. Shalom, shalom. Go ahead. Once again. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Take a note. A lot of you make a mistake. No mistake. Please, Ali Dawa, high school scholar. He speaks ten languages. None of you, none of them, you understand. A lot of you make mistakes. What is mistake number one, brother? Stupid people. They try to comprehend. Disgusting people. You try to comprehend, you donkeys. You try to comprehend, you idiots. Aren't you ashamed? Oh, no sound? Ah, this is why you cannot comprehend. Okay, I will go back. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Dear friends, welcome once again to my channel, Yajuj and Majuj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about them in the Quran, and they are mentioned specifically in a hadith, brothers and sisters. Mm. Now, one thing that a lot of people make a mistake, which I've seen, you know, people of knowledge, is that they try to comprehend and understand. I cannot believe it. That people are so stupid to the point they're trying to comprehend stories of Muhammad. You cannot comprehend Muhammad's stories. I mean, this guy is mentally ill. You can comprehend stupidity. You cannot. This is mistake number one. What they try to do, those are stupid people, my brothers and sisters, they try to comprehend that is a no, big no no. This is mistake number one. You don't do that. They try to comprehend and understand how is who is Yajuj and Majuj? Who? Where are they? How could they stay in a cave for so long and dig, dig? What cave, you stupid? There's no cave. Dig. And just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that. You know, are, is your tongue free of your head? What what you just said? Some parts of it, you know, are not authentic. Whatever it may be, I'm not trying to get well, into well, that. No, repeat, repeat. Some I can start. There's issues with that narration, etc. Some you know, they stay in a cave for so long and dig, 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 and just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues. Some say there's issues with that narration, etc. Some parts of it, you know, are not authentic. What? 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 Hey, really? I mean, you know what? Forget about Gog and Magog now. We need to you need to explain to us what you just said. What you just said again? Parts of it, you know, are not authentic. Whatever it may be, I'm not trying to get into that. Okay, you know. You don't want to get into it. Like, so what? So what are you talking about? I mean, the story is about Gog and Magog, and you don't want to get into that. But that is the story. That's deep. Big, and just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that. No, they touch it, touch it, yeah. etc. Some parts of it, you know, uh, are not authentic. Whatever it may be, I'm not trying to... Uh, just skip it, skip it, man, skip it. That, that, I mean, that, you know, you know, the devil is in the details. You know that, don't you, right? Don't you? You know, little Lily. Into that, okay? You know, and then um, Dhulqarnayn, and you know, there's so many speculations, etc. And a lot of people come, and they're like... Don't speak dirty. A lot of people come when they heard the story of Zulkarnayn. Shame on you. What do you mean they come? Okay, I don't know. Maybe my English is not good. Play it. So what? Say it again. A lot of people what? And a lot of people come and they're like, some people even get into doubt with this matter. Some individuals even leave Islam and I'm like... No way. They come. And after they come, they leave Islam. They don't leave Islam before they come. 
Do you think there is a relationship between the come and leaving his number there? And now he is going to help you to understand the situation so you will not leave Islam. Number one, number one, solution, don't come. Number two, don't comprehend. Number three, don't understand. Number four, tell us more. What's the issue here? What? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter. I mean, that's the, what is the issue here? <laughs> Say it again, please, for entertainment purposes. Individuals even leave Islam, and I'm like, what's the issue here? What? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter, because there are a lot of people, and a lot of individuals who have tried to make people understand this, and even... They are trying to make this, understand this? You Muslims, some of you are trying to make people understand this? Are you stupid or what? You cannot do that. Because simply nobody can understand this anyway. And push the narrative of these certain ex-Muslims, you know, that, you know, people uh, are leaving Islam because of this apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual and... There's an individual, you know, he went to the intimacy and then the individual as well. You know, he thought his penis and the best have some... I don't know, but this person, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to him right now. What? What, 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 what you just said? I mean, you are deep in the topic, by the way. I leave in Islam because of this, apparently, yeah? Uh, which I just heard one individual, and most of his reasons were because you know, yeah. he couldn't have intimacy with a lot of girls or something like that. It's deep. The topic is Gog and Magog, and the guy want to have intimacy with the girls. There's a connection. Okay, I don't think it was this issue at all, yeah? It was more of his desires. So he is the same guy who made a video about every person is born as polygamist. Is it what he, what he said? Now he is saying that the Muslim who leave Islam because he want to have intimacy with a lot of girls. <laughs> but you can do that in Islam, not out of Islam. <laughs> tell us more, tell us more. I thought everyone is born as a polygamist. Do you remember? You forgot? You forgot what you're saying? You are the one who says God cannot be inside himself. God be inside as a creation. Another video you said Allah is inside as a creation. Continue. The point is this, that we fall for this and then what we try to do is in return is like I know let's try to bring it down to a logical level and try to explain it in a logical way now I've seen many people do this videos okay many people one of those were, uh, was uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi you know the thing is now it's Ramadan I'm not it's Ramadan I don't gossip about people on Ramadan after Ramadan we finish okay I will gossip about him I'm a good guy it's Ramadan now I don't even I cannot do that or really you screwed the guy same time you idiot how come when you speak about the Trinity, you say it's not logical? And now, why we want to understand the Quran in a logical way? I'm not here to talk about anybody, um, etc. Okay? I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. All I'm just saying is, obviously, there's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi. Uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, wait, I, wait, just, wait, I don't wait. want to get into the details of the integrity. The point I'm trying to make is, he also done a video on this matter, the point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this, why do- Shut up, shut up, hold on. What is that you have in the shelf? Do you have an idol? Astaghfirullah, the shin of Allah. What is this? This is gonna be an idol, it's, uh, maybe it's a sex toy, I don't know. What is that? Okay, okay, we go back to the topic. I don't know what it is. Only Lidawa knows what it is. Okay, so what people are trying to do, trying to understand the Quran, stupid people, man, disgusting. I'm trying to make is he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this: Why do we have to understand everything? Why? What's wrong with people? Why we have to understand everything? What's wrong with people? Why we have to solve the problem? Solve. That's it. Bingo. Anyone have objection? Why we have to understand everything? The second we speak about the Bible, it says this is not logical. This is we you know. Explain to me. The second we ask him about the Quran, we don't have to understand everything. Do you see the hypocrite Muhammadans? The pagan black stone kissers, man worshippers. Tell us more, tell us more. Why do we have to understand everything in the context where, why does it always have to be logical? Why does it have to be something where we're like, oh, explain it to me logically, or 
you know, I'm going to start doubting things. This hmm. We solve the problem. Why we have to understand everything and why it has to be logical. Do we have any Muhammadan? So, all this drama is why? Because Muhammad is a stupid, mentally ill person. He hears stories, he put it in the Quran as it is. Flying carpet, flying horse. Muhammad, uh, uh, you know, he, he wanted to copy the story, the legions of Suleiman. Suddenly he himself is flying in the top of a horse, have to have to uh, or a donkey have two wings and his wings is located in his ass isn't it really funny that the donkey of muhammad flying and he have two wings in his ass must be a true story any muhammadan manta mantaqa tazandaqa yeah do we have any Muhammadan? I mean, I'm here for those three hours and uh, not a single Muhammadan here uh, calling us. That is not even fair. Where is the Muhammadan? Anyone want to convert me to Islam? How many of you will leave comments? How many of you will download the video? How many of you will share the video? Listen. I don't really care about people coming to watch my video. I care about people learning the truth. I get upset when I see that people don't really care. As you see, I care from my heart. I take what I do seriously, very serious. We change life of people here. We make history. We make a revolution. Muslims, they fear every word we say. You can change the future. You can. You can take hundreds of millions out of this garbage cult. Muslims don't fear war as much they fear words. This is why they forbid the Bible in every Islamic country. They forbid preaching, they forbid teaching, and you cannot understand. And you should not understand. Because the second you understand, you leave Islam as you see. I want to see people working, serving the Lord. You spend tons of years working, making money, having families. That's good. Good for you. But time will come and you ask yourself, all the years I did live, what I did, did I even respond to somebody helping him in something? So we share education with you so you can give immunity to your family, your friends. You teach them so those liars, scumbags, cannot fool them. They are bringing refugees from everywhere and they are Muslims. And the Muslims are very well trained to attack Christianity. Christian kids, they have no idea. Even when they go to the church, even adult, priests are teaching them nothing. They don't teach you really the Bible. They don't teach you how to refute people. They don't teach you how to debate. Because themselves, mostly, are just doing business. So our work is very important here. And I want to see people working with me even though I am one man army, one man army, they fear me to death. So if what if we are 10 and the 10 become a hundred and the hundred become a million? Just imagine. One person making Islam make poopoo. -poo. You can open accounts in Rumble. In Rumble, they are not deleting anything. Open account in Rumble. You can keep posting. Keep posting YouTube. They deleted, post it again. 
never give up. The devil, my friend, will fight you. Don't you don't you see how I do my work? I don't I I I have people they post my videos everywhere and even they make living from my videos. Literally they make living from my videos. I cannot even keep one video of mine. Because they knew how dangerous what I do. We are demolishing the garbage of Muhammad. So there is things you need to remember. Never give up. Never let the devil win. Never, never. The second you get up, you get you know give up or you get afraid, the devil he won. He will try to intimidate you. He will try to put fear in you. Many or many, there is, oh, what if I put a link, you know, the Muslims, they are aggressive people. So what if they are aggressive? Aren't you a man? Aren't you a believer? Same time, if everybody is posting videos, then everybody is posting videos. If it's only one, then they, they can't target one. But if millions of people, they are conquering this cult. And trust me, one can conquer this garbage. Especially if this one have no fear. Fear is your enemy. People who fear, they have no life. The one who fear the highway, he cannot drive. The one he fear germs, he cannot eat anything. He cannot even sleep in a bed. He is have a phobia. We are people who have no fear, for we have the Messiah and they have the scumbag dead Muhammad. And because they are terrified, they use violence, not because they are strong. If you study the snake, you will see snakes bite, not because she is targeting you really, as much because she is afraid of you. And that is Islam. And even Muhammad, he described Islam as a snake. And he said Islam will go back to its hole. Islam will shrink, become so small, and will go back to its hole like a serpent. So let us put the snake in the hole. And those snakes, they will not survive their stupidity. In fact, we are glad to have those people, they become famous for Muslims, because as you see, we use their videos against Islam. I cannot find somebody showing us how stupid Islam is more than those guys. Why we need to understand? Why we need to comprehend? Why we need to be logical? Listen carefully. He is saying it. Islam is so stupid. It's religion of the stupid. You cannot understand it. You cannot comprehend it. It is just a stupid Muhammad making a story of fairy tales. And now you try to find how in the world this story is going to happen. You cannot do that. You just surrender to the devil. Oh, okay. I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. All I'm just saying is, obviously, there's a lot of things I don't agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi, uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, it's just, I don't want to get into the details of the integrity. The point I'm trying to make is, he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say, and what I don't understand is this, why do we have to understand everything in the context where, why does it always have to be logical? Why does it have to be something where we're like, oh, explain it to me logically, or, you know, I'm going to start doubting things. This is exactly why Shaitan fell into this See? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to do something, bow down to Adam, he couldn't comprehend logically why he had to do that when he feels like he's better than him. The mm. problem is this, taking the aql over the naql. That is exactly our problem. You guys, did you know, did, uh, I know, uh, this guy, he don't speak Arabic by the way, this guy is donkey, he's now trying to say Arabic in words. Taking the aql, over the knuckle. Knuckle is the brain. So the problem is you try to use your brain over the copy paste and knuckle. Copy, knuckle is a copy paste, what Muhammad said. So they admitted that if you take, if you use your brain, you leave Islam. So do you see why we say those people are priceless to expose the garbage of Muhammad? If you remember in the beginning of this video, 
I showed you a video of a Muslim sheikh saying that you, your brain should be like a donkey. You tie it up. You tie it up. This is the video. Muhammad Hussein Yaqub, the mind is a donkey and you have to tie it up. Because if you don't tie up your brain, you will leave Islam. هي دي العقيدة إن أنت عقيدتك بتقول لك إن دماغك دي عبد لما سألوني النهاردة عن فلان من الناس قلت لهم مشكلة فلان دماغه They asked me today about somebody I told them the problem of this guy is his brain What does that mean? He's smart The problem is a brain He's using his brain This is his problem He is using his brain. This is the problem. The person, this person, he have a problem. He is using his brain. In the religion, you don't. You can use your brain only in limited. We gave an example about this before, that a person, he is going to visit the mayor, like the mayor of a town, like in Egypt, they have a umda for the village, so he is in control of the village, you know, and when you want to go to visit the the the, uh, the umda or the mayor of the village, you are, you are taking your donkey with you. So you ride the donkey until you arrive to the square of the mayor. When you arrive to the mayor house, what do you do? You step down from the donkey and you tie up the donkey. And then he tie up the donkey outside and he go inside, he take off his shoes and he get in. If he get inside to the house of the mayor with the donkey, what will happen? The mayor will throw him out with his donkey. <laughs> and this is what you should do to your brain. So the brain is the same as the donkey, which brought you to 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 Allah. But you don't you don't go to Allah. You take your brain with you. You have to tie the brain out, and you then you enter to Allah. Otherwise, Allah, if you enter with your brain, he will throw you out with your donkey. When you arrive to Allah, you tie up, you do what? You tie up the, the brain, the donkey, and you enter upon Allah. This is what Islam is about. You have to tie up your brain for your brain is a donkey. If you the problem with this guy, he used his brain. This is what Islam is about. I hope today we have shared something good with you. And don't forget you can subscribe to our Patreon so you can receive notification. And don't worry, Patreon is for free. Most of people who go there, they don't even donate a penny uh, just to get notification. You can be the same. And I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless us uh, with knowledge and truth. And may the Lord uh, help us with more Muslims leaving Islam. We are happy for this person from Canada. He used to attack me each time he called me. And he claimed Muslims are better than Christians. And today something strange happened to him. As I understood, he says, the Holy Spirit spoke to him, or the Spirit spoke to him. I don't know what he said. So it sounds like he is leaving Islam, so we are happy for this guy if this is what happened. And um, I said to him, don't worry about He said, it's dangerous. I say, fear none. Fear none, my friend. The Lord is who we follow. Mankind, they are dead, and we fear none of them. So... 
happy to see even those who they are used to be aggressive against me they are leaving Islam one by one and you know remember a drop of water is very weak it look weak it sound weak it's very soft but if a drop of water is consistent and keep dripping is going to make a hole in the most hard rock you can imagine a drop of water so you can be a drop of water people will think of you as weak person but when you are consistent you have faith you never give up you will go through and you will do miracle for a drop of water can grow a tree a drop of water can open a hole, can crack a wall. A drop of water can be a river and then an ocean. So join our drops of waters. Let us irrigate the Muslim world so we can save them from the stupidity of Muhammad and his fraud. Until we see you again, this is your brother Christian Prince for serving you humbly for today. God bless you.